In this video lesson, I'll be discussing balancing chemical equation. Balancing chemical equation has several types namely, combination reaction, which is the main focus in this video. The other types, which I will be discussing separately, are the decomposition reaction, single replacement reaction, double the replacement reaction, and the combustion reaction. After this video lesson, you are expected to write and balance chemical equations. In writing and balancing chemical equation, it is very important for you to trace the charges being used by the combining ions, especially if you are required to write the product or products. Like for example, magnesium oxide with a chemical formula of MgO undergun cancellation process under subscript because magnesium or Mg has a positive 2 charge and O has a negative 2 charge. On the other hand, calcium orthosilicate with a chemical formula Ca2SiO4 undergoes the process of reducing their subscript because calcium has a positive 2 charge while orthosilicate has a negative 4 charge. You can also check charges using the periodic table of elements. For polyatomic ions, it is usually written at the bottom part of your periodic table of elements labeled as ions and charges. For non-reducible, it is easier to trace. Balancing chemical equation is usually done by inspection, one element at a time. There are no definite steps to follow in the process. Just keep in mind the following general rules. Number 1. Start with the most complicated formula, the one with greatest number of elements, if there is one, either among the reactants or products. Balance first the element that appears only once in either of the reactants or products. Number 2. The next element to balance is the one whose number was affected by the coefficient written on a formula when the previous element was balanced. Number 3. The one with the simplest formula, if there is one, should be balanced last. Affixing any coefficient to it will not affect the number of elements in the other formulas. Number 4. The coefficients must be in whole numbers. If a fraction comes up, multiply the whole equation by the denominator of this fraction. And number 5, express the coefficients in their lowest terms, if applicable. Let's have combination reaction, which is also called synthesis. In this basic type of chemical reaction, two or more elements combine to form a new compound. The general equation is A plus B yields AB. Under combination reaction, we also have several types, one of which is the binary ionic. It is called binary ionic because it is mainly a combination of metal and non-metal. For example, when sodium combined with chlorine, it will yield sodium chloride with the chemical formula NaCl. In balancing chemical equation, we also have to consider the presence of diatomic elements in the free state. Free state means alone. These seven diatomic elements such as chlorine, bromine, iodine, chlorine, nitrogen, hydrogen, and oxygen must always bear a subscript of two if they are alone in a chemical equation, like in this case, the chlorine. Through inspection, sodium on the reactant side has one atom, while on the product side, we also have one atom of sodium. While for chlorine on the reactant side, we have two atoms, while on the product side, we only have one atom of chlorine making the equation unbalanced. 
Always remember that reactant or reactants are on the left side while the product or products are on the right side. By adjusting the coefficient of the product NaCl from 1 to 2, we make that chlorine atom balance having two atoms in both reactants and product side. We now adjust the coefficient of sodium on the reactant side whose number of atom was affected when we balance chlorine, making two atoms of sodium both on the reactant and product side. Thus, the final and correctly balanced chemical equation is 2 moles Na plus 1 mole Cl2 yields 2 moles NaCl. Another type of combination reaction is when metal oxide combined with water, it will produce metal hydroxide. For example, when iron 3 oxide combined with water, it will produce iron 3 hydroxide. Remember that iron here uses positive 3 charge while hydroxide is a polyatomic ion with a negative 1 charge. Thus, the correct chemical formula of the product is FeOH in a parenthesis with a subscript of 3. By inspection, we can see that there are two atoms of iron on the reactant side while we only have one atom of iron on the product side. For oxygen, we have four atoms of oxygen on the reactant side, that is 3 plus 1 is equal to 4, while on the product side, we only have 3, that is 1 multiplied by 3 is equal to 3. While for hydrogen, on the reactant side, we have 2 atoms. And on the product side, we have 3 atoms making the equation unbalanced. To balance the equation, we start by adjusting the coefficient of the product from 1 to 2, making iron balance with two atoms both on the reactant and product side. Since oxygen has now become six atoms on the product side, that is 2 multiplied by 1 is equal to 2 multiplied by 3 is equal to 6 atoms of oxygen. So to balance oxygen atom, we adjust coefficient of H2O from 1 to 3, making also 6 atoms of oxygen on the reactant side. That is 3 multiplied by 1 is equal to 3 plus 3 atoms of oxygen in a compound iron 3 oxide will give us a total of 6 atoms oxygen. Finally, inspect for the hydrogen atom. On the reactant side, we have 3 multiplied by 2 will give us 6 atoms of hydrogen, while on the product side, we have 2 multiplied by 1 is equal to 2, multiplied by 3 is equal to 6, making the chemical equation balance. The third type of combination reaction is binary covalent. Binary covalent is a combination of two nonmetal elements. For example, when solid carbon combined with gaseous oxygen, it will produce carbon dioxide gas. With just a glance, we can say that the equation is balanced by itself. It's time to do your task. Just give the product and balance the equation. Good luck and thank you for reaching this far. Till next time, goodbye everyone.